Hey everybody, Kevin here from Humble Craftworks. Today I'm just gonna talk to you about sanding. Ooh, sanding. Sanding. I sand everything to 150 for the most part. So what I'm gonna do now, and they've all, all been staged, so they've all been, they had the little handles put in, you saw the video on that. They had all the little hinges drilled out, right there. I did all the repairs, whatever I needed to do. This one had a knot in it. I dug out all the crappy part of the knot and filled it with clear epoxy. I don't know if you can see that. Clear epoxy, uh, zoomy zoomy. Clear epoxy, right there. And yeah, nice and smooth now. The reason I use clear epoxy and don't put fill it full of uh, sawdust is because when you stain it, see you can't really see it. If I was to fill, I mean you can see it a little bit because it was super cold and it, if you heat up your epoxy, it will go, uh, it will be clear and you mix it really slowly so you don't get air bubbles in it. But the reason I put clear in there is because it just looks like a knot. And when I stain over that, if I would have filled that with sawdust and epoxy, it doesn't really take, people think it takes, the sawdust takes the stain. It doesn't really, it just kind of looks like putty. So I just use clear epoxy and uh, nice and hard. 3,000 pound epoxy. Uh oh, dinging up my stuff. So you can see the back. And then uh, just spit on it. You want to know what it looks like? Just spit on it. I digress. I just like sanding them. I just sand them by hand. It gives them a more natural look. And it's, it is wood, you know, it's, it's natural. All natural it is. So that's what I'm going to do now. And if I find any other defects or anything that I need to fix, I'll do that. Uh, I'll make another video on uh, staining, not staining, but on how to repair things like scratches and dings and how to steam. You can uh, steam out dents and stuff like that. Hopefully there's not too many of those on this. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and sand and when I get down to the uh, rounding over, I'll show you how I do it. It's just sanding, but you know, some people don't know these things, I guess. And blah, blah, blah. And uh, here we go. Oh no. They hate when I do that. <laughs> it freaks them out. <laughs> so I'm going to sand the uh, the back of this door. And, you know, sanding is just sanding, but the, the things you want to cover is you want to make sure you get the whole, the whole door sanded and not just one spot, you know. So I actually go uh, across the grain first, all the way across. Like mowing the lawn, you just got to keep going across until you get all the little parts. And then I come back and I go with the grain. The last pass is always with the grain. Uh, it just comes out better. Sometimes you get little swirly marks because crap gets stuck in here, you know, and a little, little swirly marks. So if you're going, to, if you finish going across this way, oh, it's falling apart. Almost does fall apart. Uh, like that? Customize. Uh, yeah. Gorilla tape. Also not a sponsor. <laughs> so if if you have a little if you have a little piece that's stuck in here and it's making a swirly mark, at least when you're going like this, it won't catch somebody's eye. Uh, and usually before I stain it, I'll just do a light pass with 150 by hand. I like my stuff to be like scratch free if I can. I'll speed this part up so you don't have to watch so much. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mark. You can also feel when you're sanding. If the sander goes crazy, like right around here somewhere. It feels like it's going to spin out of control all by itself. You probably have a lump or it's not very flat. So, yeah, just like this. And then the other thing you want to do is kind of hold it up to the light. Ah, there's light, and you can see. Uh, sorry, coffee. All right, let's get it. Look at the front. So what I'm looking for 
Let's see if I can see any dings or anything. This side's not bad. Okay. The ends have already been uh, edge sanded, but you just, you still gotta hit it with this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna try to zoom in here. Zoom, put on that. So you can see where I've sanded here and it doesn't look like it has any lines. And then up here, you can see where all the edge sanding and the mar marks are. Edge sander. So no marks, marks. We wanna sand that off. And there you go. Next thing we want to do is sand, hand sand with 150. 150, I got sheets of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna fold it. See, fold it, fold it in thirds. Fold it in thirds. <sighs> Works good. And then you could smoke it. No. <coughs> it would taste terrible. Okay, so I always do the corners first. And all I do is lightly round them over like this. And then go to the next one. So you got a little round over there. A little round over here. And a little round over here. So your corners are now eased, all eased or rounded over. Yeah. And I just Make sure that uh, I have no chatter left on the top. Okay, so all I basically do is uh, just lightly round over the edge. So it's just barely broken. You don't want a sharp edge on doors because you know, if somebody hits their elbow on it or they smack their shin or do something like that, they're gonna curse you. It's like, why is that so sharp? So you wanna go up and down, kinda. This way and that way, as we're going over the whole thing, just keep it moving. And then the last pass, you just kind of let it have it. And it comes out really, really nice and soft. Uh, let me see if I can focus on it. See, it comes out with a really nice soft edge. And then when you're done, it doesn't, it's not really, it doesn't look like a mechanical round over, you know? Like if I was to take a router and route, this whole thing, you still gotta sand off the burn. Cause unless you have a super, super sharp bit, uh, it's gonna burn a little bit. So now we have this cross grain through the top. Let's see, uh, there's a slight cross grain. So the trick to getting rid of that, take your little paper. Actually it works better with older paper. Just to take it and get the shoe shine effect. Oh. And then you can stand up to it in case you miss the spot. And when you get done doing that, you can always come over it with the pad sander, uh, but not too much because you don't want to flatten that out again. Okay, and that's that. So that's one door. I don't know how long it took me. Probably takes about five or 10 minutes to sand a door. Uh, I'll do all the rest. You don't have to watch that. That would be silly. And also, you know, check it out in the sun. Hold it up to the sun, like, and make sure you don't got any dings or scratches, or if you see any, anything that looks crazy. Because you know, now's, now's the time to do it. Once you put the stain on this door, I mean, you can still fix it. That's not a problem, but you're gonna burn through your sandpaper like crazy, because the, uh, the stain will just gum up your sandpaper. Goes over in the pile of, maybe done, the done pile, ready to stain. So I got five more to stay. I got my five little bit of like how it work. You get now that I went in reverse. Now I got five more of these to the sand, and then I'm gonna stain them all. And you don't want to watch that because it's boring and it stinks. Yay. All right, there you go, sanded. Uh, just remember when you're sanding, don't grind into the damn thing unless you're trying to grind off something. Uh, just light pressure. You don't you don't want to hear the. Here, I'll show you the difference. Hold on. I'll just use some of this cheap $150 sheet scrap. We'll do it on the back because I don't want to use that piece for something. When you're sanding, don't, don't put a lot of pressure on this thing. 
Yeah, there's no need for it. It'll cut by itself. Uh, like this. This here. That's good. That's not good. And if you want to sand something a little bit harder, just lift it up and tilt it. You know, tilt it one way or the other, and you use the outside edge to cut it off. You can see how they. You know, the outside's more burned off than the center. The center's just got a hole in it. <laughs> That's silly. It's just got a, you can't do anything with that. I don't know why they don't fill that in. I'm sure there's some silly reason, but I don't understand it. They just want you to have a hole there. And uh, we're gonna be staining all day. So uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, this is Kevin signing off from Humble Craftworks. Because <gasps> type. Oh no, I forgot to plug it in. I'm not plugging it into myself, you know? You want this stuff? I'm not gonna burp. Please subscribe and. Uh, I try not to do that. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.